Hello everyone! So for today, tuturuan ko kayo ng tungkol sa cross price elasticity of demand. Pero before nun, syempre dapat alam muna natin kung ano nga ba yung mga importanteng abbreviations and notations na gagamitin natin for this topic. So when we say CPE, we refer to cross price elasticity of demand. When we say OPE, we refer to the own price elasticity of demand. QXD means quantity demanded for X. PY is the price related of good Y. RX is the total revenue of good X. And RY is the total revenue of good Y. So let's begin. So don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment down below. Kung ano nga ba ang inyong mga natutunan or kung meron man kayong mga questions. So let's start with the definition of cross price elasticity of demand. And that is to measure the responsiveness of the demand for a good, let's say good X, okay, sa changes ng related good, let's say good Y. And please take note, nakapag ang CPE natin is negative, meaning yung X at Y are complement goods. Meanwhile, kapag meron naman tayong positive cross price elasticity of demand, yung X at Y are substitute goods. So, paano ba tayo magkukumpute ng ating cross price elasticity? So, let's use this formula. CPE is equal to QXD or percentage change in quantity demanded in good X divided by the percentage change in the price of Y. So please take note, different goods ang involve sa cross price elasticity of demand. So let's start with this example. Number one, the table shows price and demand for good Y and good X. So as you can see, the price of good Y decreases by 200 pesos and has an effect of 50 unit increase okay, in number of units sold. And for the good X, there's an also increase of 50 units. So what we shall do with these figures? So for this problem, we will compute the cross price elasticity of demand for good X. So let's start with the computation of the quantity demanded or percentage change in quantity demanded of good X. So as you can see, we subtracted 300 by 250. So that's your change from 250 naging 300 siya. So kukunin mo yung amount of unit increase by subtracting 250 from 300 and then we divide that with the old old demand for good X which is 250 to get the percentage change in quantity demanded for X which is 20% and then next is we will compute the percentage change in price of Y so for this problem we deduct 800 with 1,000. So, bakit natin ginawa yun? Kasi, nag-decrease. Nag-decrease yung price from 1,000 to 800. Therefore, merong decrease na 200 pesos. And, to know the percentage change, we divide the decrease, which is 200, by the original price of good Y, which is 1,000 pesos. And, we get negative 20% meaning meron tayong decrease okay in terms of price with an amount or with a percentage of 20% therefore the cross price elasticity of demand for good x is equal to 20% divided by negative 20% equivalent to negative 1 Okay, so let's take a look at another example ng ating problem. So let's read the problem. 
Railview Corporation's flagship phone device cost 35,000 pesos. To induce market demand, the company decided to cut the price offering by 3,500 discount. And this move resulted to a decrease in competitors' demand by 15%. So for this question, what is the CPE for this price range? So first step, we need to find the percentage change in quantity demanded. And that is, given in the formula, 15%. So take note na ang cross price elasticity na kinukumpute natin in this problem is the CPE of the competitor, meaning yung sa kalaban. Okay? So next, our percentage change in price naman. So ang good why natin dito is the good produced by Realu Corporation. Okay? The flagship phone defined that costs 35,000. So para malaman natin yung ating percentage change in price, we divide the decrease, which is 3,500, so negative 3,500, by the original cost, which is the 35,000 pesos, and we get 10% or negative 10% as percentage change. And then, our CPE is now computed by dividing the negative 15 by negative 10, and we get 1.5 Okay? So, ang next topic natin is ano nga ba ang impact ng cross price elasticity sa ating total revenue? So, change in revenue is equal to total revenue of good X multiplied by 1 plus OPE or our own price elasticity of demand plus RY Multiply by CPE, multiply by percentage change in price of good X. Please take note na ang OPE na kailangan natin dito is yung own price elasticity of demand ng good X. Okay? So, hindi po yan good Y. So, para mas maintindihan natin, i-apply natin ulit siya sa isang problem. So, in this problem... Let's say that a company earns 50,000 per week in revenues from selling X and another 30,000 in selling good Y. In this example, our own price elasticity of demand for good X is negative 0.5. Meanwhile, the cross price elasticity for good X and good Y is negative 2. So what would happen to the total revenues? of the firm if the price of good X is reduced by 2%. So first step, the change in revenue is equal to 50,000 multiplied by 1 minus 0.5 plus 30,000 multiplied by negative 2. And the total of these two is multiplied by our percentage change in price of X which is negative 2%. And so, by simplification, we get percentage of revenue is equal to negative 500 plus 1,200. So, para nakuha yung negative 500, so, ang ginawa natin dyan ay, una, syempre, may minus natin yung 1 minus 0.5. And then, yung 0.5 na difference is multiplied sa 50,000 and then multiplied sa negative 2%. So, itry nyo i-compute sa inyo mga calculators kung makukuha nyo nga ba yung negative 500. Okay, so kung nakuha nyo, very good. And then next, yung 1 to naman ay nakuha by multiplying 30,000 by negative 2. And the product of that is multiplied by negative 2. So, we get 1,200. And syempre, i-add natin yan. Negative 500 plus 1,200 is equal to 700. Therefore, the change in total revenue by reducing the price of good X by 2% percent 
will result to an increase in revenue of 700,000. And also, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang demand natin for good X is inelastic. Okay? Since ang absolute value ng ating own price elasticity of demand for good X is 0.5, which is less than 1. Tama? So, pag binawaan natin ang presyo, hindi pa rin tataas ang ating total revenue. Kaya nga, yung initial value natin doon sa ating operation is negative 500. Okay tayo? So, meanwhile, ah, yung 1,200 naman is the incremental sales from selling good Y. Therefore, we can say that the cross price elasticity is negative and so good X and good Y are complement goods. And that's how you compute and apply cross price elasticity of demand. Thank you for watching. Thank you.